Also here at 5 o'clock, teenage girls targeted on Snapchat, a person asking them to send inappropriate photos, and when they say no, they're being threatened. The threat has Billerica police and that community on alert. At least seven girls in the 6th through ninth grade have been targeted, and WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Billerica tonight with the very latest on this disturbing story. Beth? Well, police say it is someone using a name that is familiar to these students. And when it comes to using Snapchat, it's very easy to create an identity. Whether this is a joke or something more sinister, police say it is a crime. It's an emerging trend that has Bill Ricca police sending a warning to students and parents. Someone is reaching out to girls using the Snapchat app, asking them to send inappropriate pictures of themselves. It's very likely it's somebody local, and it's very likely somebody's using... Uh, Snapchat is just a platform to create fake addresses and uh, claim that there's somebody that they're not. Seven female students at both the middle and high schools say they've been targeted. And according to police, one even responded. Classmates say it can happen too easily. And it's pretty easy just to like put a new identity on yourself. There are people that can't that know how to hack into stuff like Snapchat and they can go into their pictures and if they have pictures in there then they can out them to everyone so it can be dangerous. Police say the individual even used threats to pressure the students to comply. If they do not send naked photos of themselves then they will be they will be outed um, with their friend and their peer group uh, that photographs that, that are alleged to be them will be sent out. Police sent this letter to parents reminding them to discuss the potential risks of social media with their children. It's scary, but it's a day we live in now, so you just have to make sure that you're talking to them all the time. And students say it's advice they try to take to heart. If they're asking inappropriate questions and that you don't feel comfortable with, you should answer them. Now, police say these students did the right thing. They reported what happened to the school resource officer. An investigation is now underway to try to determine who's behind it. Reporting live from Bill Ricca, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.